This news program is proudly brought to you by Smart Start Breakfast Biscuits and MNOW Biscuits. Oak Teddy Mining Limited provides an update on its dredging operations. Minister for Health presents 2023 update. And Pangu Coalition government partners remain intact. A very good evening. This is National MTV News. I'm Malcolm Waira. Thank you for joining us. Octedi Mining Limited, or OTML, has surpassed its annual sediment dredge and rehabilitation targets for 2023 at its Big A operations, located 125 kilometers from the mine. The mining company revealed this today in a statement. The bigger operations dredged 10.3 cubic meters of river sediments and rehabilitated 40 hectares of sand stockpile. This surpasses its annual sediment dredge target of 10 million cubic meters and its rehabilitation target of 35 hectares for the year 2023. This achievement of managing sediment loads in the Octedi and Fly River systems helps prevent adverse environmental and social impacts. The manager for bigger operations, Naiman Kepan, said achieving these targets is important to OTML as it contributes to maintaining the company's social license to operate while mitigating the impacts of river and sediments on the environment and the negative impacts it can have on local communities. He said this is a crucial aspect of responsible mining. OTML's dredging contractor is Dredeco. OTML notes approximately 10 cubic meters of sand is removed from the river each year and placed in engineered stockpiles for rehabilitation works. Natasha Voy, National MTV News. To help PNG Power Limited reduce power outages in the country, Australia is currently building solar power plants infused with battery energy storage systems in Itape, Sundown Province, and in Arawa, in the autonomous region of Bougainville. These solar-powered plants will reduce dependence on diesel fuel and enable clean and consistent power access for communities. This is Australia's commitment under the Papua New Guinea Electrification Partnership. Health Minister Dr. Lino Tom gave an update on his ministerial portfolio and reviewed the achievements and improvements that were put in by the Ministry and the Department of Health throughout last year. Minister Tom recalled in his update the COVID-19 pandemic and the fragility of our health system which was exposed and the consequences that were faced after. He went on to outline the global responses and their findings that were published by the World Health Organization, which were more workforce in the health sector, the potential use of ICT to fill in gaps in the health sector, and a good political leadership. The minister also outlined the reforms that he has initiated, which were human resource development, ICT reforms, medical supplies, health laws and policy reforms, and infrastructure audits and reform. Minister Lino reiterated on the ICT reform by saying that to achieve this, his department has commenced on the Information Communication Technology or ICT reform, which will create an accountable and transparent platform where all healthcare facilities will come online with their status information, staff strength, service capacity, and conditions of the facilities. This in turn will make sure staff are on ground and earning their keep, MPs are putting funding where it matters, and the government is well informed by real-time data on where to expand its scarce resources. Tamara Agavi, National MTV News. Major coalition parties of Pangu, the United Resource Party, and the Social Democratic Party have reaffirmed their full support and remain intact despite the upcoming due dates for the vote of no confidence. United Resource Party leader and state-owned enterprises minister William Duma confirmed this recently. 
With much anticipation towards the vote of no confidence in the coming month, the Pangu Coalition Party remains intact. The United Resource Party has shown their full support towards the leading party, the Pangu Party, during the festive season. The Prime Minister's recent trip to the Upper Highlands, where he took part in officiating major infrastructure development projects, saw a huge number of members from the two major coalition parties, URP and the Social Democratic Party accompanying him. This implies the party stands with Pangu. URP leader and Minister for State-Owned Enterprises, William Duma, elaborates on this further. Pangu Party, United Resource Party, na party belong Billy Joseph, they are the second and the third largest coalition party. Only got combined 72 members. When you have strong parties with 72 members, how can you go wrong? In the meantime, at the opening of the Hulukumaya building in Taripuri district, Minister Duma outlined that all the leaders of Western Highlands province are intact and pledged support for Marape. Sharon Engnui, National MTV News. Locals in the Taripori district of Hela province were reminded of the importance of consistent leadership for progressive development by the Minister for State-Owned Enterprises, William Duma, recently. SOE Minister William Duma shared delight towards the development that is taking shape in the Taripuri district and acknowledges the people for maintaining the leadership and electing local MPs and governor for another term. Time me come negotiating this land project. Time me go sleep long and ambu lot smile drive go come. Emi no got kota. Tari em one look back good town. He no got promise, and no got sign, and no got name to him. Now, time you got consistent leadership, and by it seems like good luck, good luck, progress. Minister Duma highlighted that consistency in leadership is crucial for progressive development. Now, me looking like here, now me looking like a building, hello, one, they come up, hello, two, they come, hello, three, they come. New Lausik Bagam, Tari Secondary School Bagam, all good luck, good development Bagam here. And Sakam, Time Miller, good luck, good consistent leadership. So, me can look also him. Hela and the Southern Islands will march on and on. Plenty the hard luck country by hard luck catch up. Duma further added that consistent leadership is important at the national level, highlighting that PNG is vast and people need strong leaders to be vocal of the issues affecting them at the floor of parliament. The minister then calls for collaboration amongst local members in the province of Hela, along with the governor to further extend the positive progression going forward. Maskiji Pavel LNG project. Country, I'm a big black country, 10 million plus. Hela and the Southern Islands are not the only provinces in the country. But when you have strong leadership, consistent leadership, and by you looking for Sharon Engnui, National MTV News. National MTV News continues after the break. Welcome back to National MTV News. People of Kairuku in the central province remain in shock following the burning of the district's Berena office between 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. yesterday. Has the people of Kairuku district in the central province prepared to settle into the new year with a positive outlook? Day 2 of January brings misfortune for the district as the district office now lies in ash. Kairuku District Coordinator for Community Development, Mr. Bennett Guy, told this newsroom that reasons and cause behind the fire is not known at the moment as an investigation is currently underway. He said further information will be released after the investigation is carried out and completed by CIDs from the Central Provincial Police Headquarters. 
Guy added it was later discovered that all gates to access the district office were locked when the building was on fire. He clarified that rumors going on about electrical fault as the cause of the fire should be brushed aside as the district office for the last two years has been without electricity supply. Gladys Killer, National MTV News. Youths of Kwara Yaroga Community Association continue to safeguard their community through their community watch program at the hotspots of petty crimes and car thefts, like the bus stops and road links within Ward 8 of Mosby Northwest. President of Kora Yaroga Community Association, Sonix Alowale, said programs like Community Watch must be recognized as it helps curb crimes at a community level. Because it goes a long way. And by helping them stopping criminal activities, now that is how you can minimize crime on a community level. That's how we play looking. So we are trying to do our part as a community of this area, Tokararalo. Playing part, lo, is helping community member to stop criminal activities. Now, at least all, mangi all stop nothing. What are youths also take part lo, it's the program? It benefits them in one way. It even helps them lo looking for some some people passing in no good place. All you can send is him helping community. Now. Through that we. Promoting good plan, safe environment for all. Nancy Nicholas, a community member, said crimes have stopped since the initiation of the community watch program. Okay, time and hold up, so come up, look on. I plant the car, so come, load drop him or school beginning of one of them. Also, pull him out, mama or papa who sets a drive coming. Also, hold up, kiss him car now, also go. Still passing him, plant is a come up, please, so but good plan, um, all boys blame plus a sun up yet, all youth boys blame plus a yaru guy. All yet, all the sun up, make him this like walk. Snog at one plus still pass in Sakama, snog at one plus hold up Sakama. I'm now I'm this like on, I'm one plus good plus on. Regardless of not receiving any form of support from relevant authorities since the initiation of the community watch, the youths of KICA have been well supported by the members of their community. So this year again, we plus sun up again. October come all through of December, New Year, so far so good. No one play incident, no one play trouble. Or Mama, Mary, picking from the community, still stop safe at coming up now. The community watch was initiated by the youths and families residing at Kora and Yaroga streets at Tokorara in 2022 and is carried out every year starting on October going into the Christmas and New Year's Eve and ending on the 31st of the new year. Malinta Yopolo, National MTV News. In support of the Community Watch program is Junior Thomas, a youth rep from Ward 8 of the Mosby Northwest. He said support must come to youths who are standing up to bring changes into their communities. Mr. Thomas said the youths of Kora Yaroga Community Association are leading the way to bring changes into the community, one of which is the provision of security. Some support and some LB must come. Uh, the community, especially the youths here. So they're doing the right thing. They're doing the right thing. We want change in our communities. Yeah. Uh. Yes. So we can't wait for the change. My calling, uh, my stand is, uh, my, my calling to the member of Northwest and uh, NCDC, especially the commission, Please uh, try to reach out to the community. Yeah. Sharing the same sentiment with Junior Thomas is Joe Pino, a community member of Cora and Yaroga who strongly emphasis for the government to recognize the efforts of these youths. So me like Dr. Strong Long, governor's office must look at law. All these like activities work law, run law, or one one street or one one up, suburb, or must look at law. This land now, two uh, member of law, Northwest two. Must, must look, look savvy because of electric blame. Junior Thomas stressed that most problems in the communities are caused by youths and having them to stand up for such changes is a way forward to give back to their communities. Now, this like kind of activities, uh, this like kind of program, you can carry them over. This is to cover the crimes uh, and to help support the community in uh, 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 some way uh, possible where the country is looking forward to. Uh, 
The youth rep commended the youths of Kora Yaroga Community Association for their efforts since 2022, despite not having any form of recognition since its establishment. Malinta Yopolo, National MTV News. Kagwa Erave is one of the five districts in the Southern Highlands Province who recently launched its 2023-2027 to five-year development plan at the Kagwa Station. The occasion was witnessed by Prime Minister James Marape and Governors William Powi, Philip Undialu, Powis Pakop, State Ministers, MPs and Senior Government Delegates. Serving only as a first-term member of parliament, Kagwa Erave MP Maina Pano is one of the few MPs to launch his district's development plan from focusing on health, education, law and order and road infrastructure. Pano's ultimate dream is to transform Kagwa Station into a township. <laughs> Present to witness the occasion was Panos Social Democratic Party leader and NCD Governor Poes Pakop who flew into Kagua with the delegation to show his support for the local MP. This is one of the best plan me looking in my fourth term in parliament. And I want to commend the member for Kagwa Rabe. Plenty line me, me, all that can get degree or can get survey. Some people have not come up with this plan yet. Plenty of people parliament have not come up with the plan yet. So why are you in parliament? What is your vision and your strategy and your priority? Your plans. Because as you know, I plan, and by your failure. Yeah. Parkop appealed to Prime Minister James Marape to prioritize helping such MPs who have a plan for their district. And that is what he emphasized to members of his party that they must all have a development plan. Prime Minister Marape, in commanding the local MP's development aspirations, assured him of the national government's support and told him to focus on developing his district. I'm going to talk to the people, but you need to start with that. Just focus on the people. Don't get tired. Stay with them. Live with them. Cry with them. Work with them. Even I'm supporting you to stop on the ball. The making of them, I'm going to smile. Everyone will smile. Blessing my own. Our people can be a better people 2027 and onwards. Love you all. God bless each and every one of you, wherever you are. Have hope and faith. God bless you. Me. Sharon Engnui, National and TV News. Coinciding with the launch of the Kagua Erave five-year development plan, the district also launched the Route 700 highway that is from Rindita to Kikori. The highway will connect Southern Highlands Province and the rest of the Highlands region to the Southern region through Gulf Province. Road 700, as it will be called, will open doors for economic growth, not just for Kagwa Erave District and Southern Highlands, but for the rest of the Highlands region. Attending the groundbreaking ceremony of road connecting Kagwa to Kikori districts, Prime Minister James Marape said the road will create an alternate access route for the Upper Highlands region. The port in Kikori is not Kikori's port, but national port. The highway here, Gulf of Lewis Highway, is not Kauke Rambas Road, but Nestle Highway. This is an alternate to a lifting pattern of Highland Survey Colour Lake, if not like Open Kikori. Now Open Gare this road into a fully fledged Nestle Highway, the current highway track in Boca, taking cargo from Kikori, from the Highlands, the current west of Boca, Kaikai, from Highlands, go to Kikori, and go to Mosley, and go outside. With the vast economic potential, the road will provide between the two regions. Prime Minister Marape appealed to the people of Upper Highlands to respect the people of Kikori and their way of life as the road passes through the Kikori district in the Gulf province. This road and all leaders of the ground, somebody, local members, governor, somebody, 
Mais son grand qui est blessé, il doit venir qu'il Mais il a fait qu'il m'a dit que il y a un peu de temps, il y a un peu de temps. 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 Il y a once it is open, the Route 700 Highway will provide a more economical route for the people in the Highlands region to sell their food and cash crops in Port Moresby rather than through Lay. In support for the construction of the highway, Kagua Erave MP Maina Pano through the Kagua Erave DDA brought five trucks, five excavator and two police vehicles to support construction and maintaining of the Route 700 Highway. Sharon Engnui, National MTV News. Now to the next fund market report. The Kina closed lower at 0.2681 US dollars in the interbank market. At Bank South Pacific, your Kina was buying 0.2606 US dollars, 0.3823 Australian dollars, 0.2305 Euro, 36.61 Japanese Yen. Looking at the commodity prices, at New York closed, gold is trading lower, coffee closed lower, cocoa closed higher, copper closed lower, palm oil closed lower, crude oil is trading lower, copper closed unchanged. And on the stock market, the Dow Jones closed lower, the S6200 is trading lower, the All Ordinaries is trading lower. National MTV News continues after the break with Chukai Sports. Stay with us. Chukai Sports. Welcome to Chukai Sports. Former Newcastle Thunder hooker Charlie Wabo will take the reins as the new coach for the Money Plus NCD Port Mosby Vipers. This was revealed during the NCD Governors Cup Grand, Governors Cup Grand Finals recently by NCD Governor Paul Spakop. Meanwhile, Nelson Stone, the former PNG rep sprinter, was appointed as the team's head trainer. As other teams decide to withdraw from the upcoming PNG Games, Team East Sipik is all set and geared up for the September event. According to the East Sipik Provincial Sports Director, Malcolm Limbai, they successfully raised 300,000 kina through a corporate dinner held in Port Mosby and other fundraising events with funding support from local MP Stanley Samban. Limbai mentioned that Team Sipik is fielding athletes in various sports including athletics, boxing, soccer, rugby nines, touch footy, rugby union sevens, volleyball and para sports. Uh, during the promotion period, we selected our players or athletes. Team Sipik, Nikla was still take part yet. He also confirmed that the East Sipik Provincial Government has allocated additional funds to support the team, which will be accessible in September. Athlete Martin Warap is among those actively training for the upcoming PNG Games, ready to represent Team Sipik. Uh, actually, my dream in the coming year is if I could, I hope to give my best in the coming competition, which is the eight uh, PNG Games. And my dream is to take part in the national squad and the team of the country, the national squad of PNG Athletics, to take part in the upcoming Commonwealth Games and the Pacific Games also, and to win a scholarship because I was a school leader since I left school. James Guken, Krukai Sports. That ends Krukai Sports. The Money Plus weather report is next. Stay with us. Krukai Sports. True Kai Sports. This weather update is proudly brought to you by Money Plus. With you always. The weather forecast for the next 24 hours. For the southern region, Port Mosby City, 
partly cloudy with few showers and possible thunderstorms. Daru, partly cloudy. Kerama, few showers. Alotau, partly cloudy with brief showers. Popondeta, partly cloudy with few showers and possible thunderstorms. Looking at the Momasa region, Lay City, partly cloudy with few showers. Medeng and Wiwek, partly cloudy. Vanimo, partly cloudy with few showers. To the New Guinea Islands region, Lorengau, partly cloudy with few showers and possible thunderstorms. Kaveng, partly cloudy with a shower or two. Kokopon Rabaul, partly cloudy with few showers and possible thunderstorms. Kimbe, rain showers and possible thunderstorms. Buka, partly cloudy with possible brief showers. To the Highlands region, Mount Hagen City, partly cloudy periods with few showers and possible thunderstorms. Goroka and Kodiawa, partly cloudy with few showers and possible thunderstorms. Mendi and Wabeg, cloudy periods with some rain showers and possible thunderstorms. Looking at the forecast for the small crafts within the... <laughs> Sorry, it's a very big signal. It's crafts, crafts. Yep. This weather update is proudly brought to you by MoniPlus. With you always. The weather forecast for the next 24 hours. For the southern region, Port Mosby City, partly cloudy with few showers and possible thunderstorms. Daru, partly cloudy. Kerama, few showers. Alotau, partly cloudy with brief showers. Popondeta, partly cloudy with few showers and possible thunderstorms. Looking at the Momasa region, Lay City, partly cloudy with few showers. Medang and Wiwek, partly cloudy. Vanimo, partly cloudy with few showers. To the New Guinea Islands region, Lorengau, partly cloudy with few showers and possible thunderstorms. Kaveng, partly cloudy with a shower or two. Kokopon Rabaul, partly cloudy with few showers and possible thunderstorms. Kimbe, rain showers and possible thunderstorms. Buka, partly cloudy with possible brief showers. To the Highlands region, Mount Hagen City, partly cloudy periods with few showers and possible thunderstorms. Goroka and Kundiawa, partly cloudy with few showers and possible thunderstorms. Mendian Wabeg, cloudy periods with some rain showers and possible thunderstorms. Forecast for the small crafts within the coastal waters of Papua New Guinea for the next 24 hours. Waters of southern PNG Indonesian border to Daru to Kiwai Islands to Kerama to Yul Island to Hood Point to Samari Islands, sea 0.5 to 1.5 meters. Waters of Samari Island to Cape Vogel to Eastern and Western Milanbi Islands, sea 0.5 to 1 meters. Waters north of Cape Vogel to Huan Gulf to Finchafen, sea 0.5 to 1 meters. Waters of Finchafen through VTS Dempier Strait to CRC Long Islands, sea 0.5 to 1 meter. Waters of Long Island to Medang to Wiwek to Vanimo and northern PNG Indonesian border, sea 0.5 to 1 meters. Waters of Manus and its western group of islands, sea 0.5 to 1.3 meters. Waters of East and West New Britain to New Island, sea 0.5 to 1.3 meters. Waters of Bougainville, C0.5 to 1 meter. Looking at the ocean forecast, for the Coral Sea, sea slight to moderate, east to southeast winds of 10 to 20 knots. Solomon Seas, sea slight, southeast winds of 5 to 10 knots. Bismarck Seas, sea smooth, east to southeast winds of 5 to 10 knots. To the Pacific Ocean, sea slight, east to northeast winds of 10 to 15 knots.
The weather update was proudly brought to you by Money Plus. With you always. And that wraps up the news, sports and weather for Wednesday, the 3rd of January, 2024. From all of us here, pleasant viewing. Bye for now. This news program was proudly brought to you by Smart Start Breakfast Biscuits and Gold Nuggets.